Welcome back to Friday Night Smackdown. This is part two of my WWE 13 Universe Mode. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. And now it's time for our handicap match between the Oklahoma State Cowboys being Randy RW3 and Jermaine King versus Heath Slater. Of course, they're, of course RW3 is the current number one contender for my for the Mike from LA1 championship. And Heath did not sign up, and Heath is, it was yelling backstage, say, and Heath Slater was yelling at Vicky Guerrero, because she didn't sign up for this. Well, it could be worse, you could be cleaning up after Alexander Rusev. Which, the Chicago crowd, of course, they're building up his debut. And no, it is not. That is not Alberto Del Rio. It is RW3. Yep, there's Randy Washington, a.k.a. RW3. Of course, he is getting ready for his big match. And here comes Jermaine King at Oh, ladies and gentlemen. This is his this is Daniel Bryan. This is Jermaine King and yes. I gave him King Booker's thing. I gave him the King Booker. Watch this. Boo! <laughs> nice pyro for the king. <laughs> yes! Yes! If it there we go. He came from walking to a king and and does that pyro look familiar? It, it shouldn't because guess what? That's the Connor Clark barbecue. But that's in 2K14. So here we go. I'll be playing obviously at the Cowboys. I'll be starting off as RW3 because obviously he's the number one contender to my the Net Mike from LA1 Championship here, which is a world title. And I am not. And that was a dumb move. You know what, Randy? For a number one contender, sometimes you feel stupid. And, and for some unknown reason, he attacks the ref. And oh, he even. Now, Randy. Oh, look at this. Everyone's attacking the poor referee. <laughs> I guess that refer I guess that is probably the brother of the Nevada referee. Oh, uh, uh oh. Now everyone's attacked the referee, so so I'm guessing the next person that hits the referee is gonna get disqualified. It. And there goes the referee. <laughs> And here goes Jermaine. Oh, by the way, I'm going to take names for the uh, finishing maneuvers very soon for well, some of the other characters here. Uh-oh. 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 We're about to see a flying king. Here we go. Whoa. Oh. So far, we never didn't get to see someone getting pinned. You think? One, and of course, he Slater kicks out. And uh, oh, there's a nice tag for RW3. Here we go, and wow, I guess I need. Here we go. One, two, oh. And here we go. And. 
man. Wait a minute. Oh, that's teamwork. Uh oh, Jermaine King! What? What the? Should have end them right there, you moron! And there goes the blood on Slater. That breaker. I think that could be it. One, two, three. The Cowboys win. The Cowboys get the victory. Here are your winners, Randy Washington and Jermaine King. That was a good match to start the second half. But coming up next is a matchup. That was one half of the matchup we saw at WrestleMania 19, and that is The Undertaker versus Big Show. Versus Big Show. Of course, Big Show doesn't have the knockout punch in this game, which is very, which is pretty stupid. Which you think they would put it in, but nope, they did not. And ladies and gentlemen. Coming up next, we have the guy that could be going 22-0 at WrestleMania when he takes out Brock Lesnar. He is the phenom, and the guy and his manager is going into the Hall of Fame. That's right, I forgot to mention Paul Bearer is going into the Hall of Fame. So if you follow me on Twitter, you said my money was on Bearer. Bam, I was right. But although I'm kind of interested who the next one's going to be. From Death Valley, 299 pounds, The Undertaker! And I cannot wait, because this is, now that I have the WWE Network, I can watch WrestleMania! That means, I get all the WrestleMania I want! Big Show, and here comes Big Show! And here comes the big show. Reports in my WWE 2K14, and I actually set up the rivalry between Big Sh Und Undertaker and Alberto Del Rio. So here we go. And of course, I'll be playing as the Dead Man, obviously. Uh oh, let's see. Are we gonna get a Dead Man dive already? Oh no, aww, I was hoping for see a dead man dive. Oh well. Oh well, I guess you can't do it in this game. And, and I was surprised that the Undertaker wasn't at, at Raw. I was a little surprised about that. What? That's just for the choke zone. Where's the other pose? Okay, can we stop with that joke, please? I prefer the, uh, the, the weight joke of, uh, at WrestleMania 25 saying, one at a time, please. <laughs> but although I'm kind of interested in WrestleMania 30, I was like, gee, I wonder where's John Cena and Bray Wyatt going to be on the card. Uh-oh. 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 
What a move! By the Undertaker! And let's see how this one is. Oh! It's time for the choke slam! Here we go! Wait, is it? Oh no, wait, the, look at the strength of Brock, look at the strength of, Big Sh of the Undertaker! There it is, here it is! One, two, three, Undertaker, Undertaker wins! Long live the dead man! And, uh, and of course, Big Show doesn't like Undertaker. Well, at least Undertaker's a good sport about beating the Big Show. <laughs> and also, maybe later tonight we may do another uh, Royal Rumble match. Because I don't know who should be the number one contenders for the next, for the number WWE title. But of course, that's just me personally. Because I need to show that boat off more often. Kind of like more of the NHL games. And speaking of which, I haven't yet to play NHL 14 in quite a while, so I'm probably going to save that for tomorrow. Because it's almost my spring break. Yippee! Although it's kind of early this year. I mean, good lord. Of course, very soon I'll be getting my... And of course, I'm kind of looking forward to the, uh, now that Seamus is back. And here comes the former World Heavyweight Champion, the Celtic Warrior. It's time for our main event. Bella, who beat the living hell out of Christian, who apparently had a heel turn without me knowing. And, he, and of course he's being accompanied by Triple H, which is hilarious because, which I chose because of hilarity, because, because there is actually a reason for that, which you're probably going to see in a little bit. And here comes the Viper, Randy Orton, whose t-shirt is on my wish list right now, by the world champ. And here comes the Viper, who is the big, the biggest threat in WWE right now. Well, I'm probably gonna give him a world, t the former Intercontinental Champion. Yes, I said it. The former Intercontinental Champion before dropping the title to Cody Rhodes, which who we haven't seen yet since he won the title. You know what? I'll be Daniel Bryan because I'm I'm a part of the Yes Movement. Of course. Uh oh. Oh no. Of course, Daniel's the heel. The oh. Okay, can you stop? Okay. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, don't oh, crack, 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 crack. Uh oh. Uh, how come I can't do anything? And there goes the chair that I was supposed to hit Triple H with to probably get the disqualification. You know what? Screw it. But up. 
apparently, what am I doing back in the ring? <laughs> yes, yes, yes! I'm doing what's best for business, I tell you! <laughs> yeah, that's what's best for business. Boy, it's a little weird playing as a manager. Okay, that's the yes chant. I wonder what the no chance. The no chance not in the game. And uh oh. Okay, that should be a yes. That should be a yes chant right there. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, what the? Come on, Randy. Of course, Seamus is gonna beat she Seamus is gonna beat Randy. Uh oh, Randy's got a comeback. Good. Oh, I forgot he has that comeback. Iris curse backbreaker. Yep, here comes White Noise. And of course I'm gonna screw. Sh of course I'm gonna screw Seamus over. Of course I'm gonna hit Seamus to set up that. Continue that feud. And that's gonna be the end of that match. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it. Over the limit is two weeks away. I will be filming it the way I did the, with Extreme Rules. And apparently, Jerry Bell got the loss, so that means Miles Edgeworth and Timmy Turner will have to go one-on-one -on -one to determine the next number one contender. So that's going to do it enough. Wow, said Phoenix Wright is the opening match of the card, and we got Sally Mae. You know what? She's been a while since she last defended her title, so I guess we're going to have to interfere that match with who? I have to think about that. And our main event is Wade Barrett versus Cody Rhodes. I will fix this card up, so I'll see you guys for Slam in just a